Hey guys, it's Steph. Um, this is going to be a sort of different video for me. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I just kept putting excuses that weren't real excuses to not make it. Um, I thought it'd be emotional because I just got my depot shot. And then the week before, I got a tooth extracted and I'm still learning to talk with this new mouth, <laughs> so that's just the preface of it, but this, I was inspired by YouTubers Rachel Warehurst and Kate, most of all Katie Morton. Now, if you don't follow her, you should. She is like an amazing source for mental health on YouTube, and she's pulling through for it to just <clears throat> be in the forefront, not in the back with the stigma and the nastiness of things. And I really look up to her for that. And I thought, well, the people sharing their journeys with her, I could maybe share my journey and maybe help someone else. Now. A lot of people know I am bipolar and I take medicine. They know like little fractions of it, but I never really fully disclosed a whole story. And that's what I'm gonna say. And I want you to think at first Christmas, sometimes people act like it's the happiest time of the year. But always remember, there's someone out there that's not having a great Christmas. It could bring back bad memories or something bad happened to them that day. Like a death or just something catastrophic in their own world. And that's kind of what happened to me. Uh, I was 16 and... It was late at night and I was playing on the computer and I heard something, like heard somebody talking and I look around and there's nobody there. And this person is talking in full complete sentences. I, and then another, it sounded like someone was talking back to them and my head is like spinning. Like, what is happening? What is going on? I don't know what to do. And I thought, if I just close my eyes, they'll go away. And that only made it worse. So, I kept quiet. Because I always heard that, like, oh, the voice is in your head. And stuff like that. And I, I was really scared to tell people. I was afraid really bad things would happen to me. Like, I had no rationale. And back then, a lot of things weren't as understood about mental illness as they are today. Which is weird because it's only like 10, 15 years to give to speak, you know? And so I went on for a while and I kept hearing them clearly having distinct conversations with, like, one I called the bad guy, because he was threatening me. And then there was a woman telling him to leave me alone, and then there was a small child. And it was the weirdest thing to experience. So, after a while, I just got sick of it. And... I was in the middle of class one day, and I just started to panic. So I went to the nurse's office, and I trusted her, and I still did. Like, she was someone I always would confide in, and I did. And uh, they called in the guidance counselors and the state department. That was not <laughs> fun to be picked at by the state official 
like whoever they send and they make you feel so uncomfortable and by then I had to go home at night and tell my mom and dad what had happened and what was going on and it was just like a slow pace like I don't know like they didn't understand it I didn't understand it and for a while it was hard they sent me to some other state people and I met my first psychologist and he after like a few weeks said she's faking it we don't believe her and I cried so hard why would I fake this mom why would I do this why would I do that and it just we just kept going and going and I finally found a person that believed me and wanted to work with me and that was a real like having a connection with someone as a therapist is very vital to having a mental disorder I was not diagnosed and I was just she was my therapist and my regular doctor took care of medication as it is to this day but then when I got older and I went to college and I had to go take medical leave because I started having issues again and they uh, sent me to a psychiatrist that I did not click with at all. I absolutely hated her. And she's like, yep, you're bipolar. Because I came in and presented her with the idea that I was. And she's like, yep, you're right. And it was like, finally, after all these years, I have a diagnosis. And she wanted to control my meds, and I didn't want to see her after a while. So I said, screw you. And went back to my old method. And then, uh, through all the years, it's all about getting the great combo of medication that works for you. It takes so many tries to get it right, but do not give up like I know a lot of people are anti-medication but I have a chemical imbalance in my brain and it ain't gonna fix itself and nothing holistic is gonna cure anything and I've seen what happens to people when they go off their meds and it has devastating effects so I encourage you to Take your medicine if you're on medication. Uh, if you're not on medication and therapy works for you, that's great. I'm just saying the method that works best for me. And I'd encourage it. Uh, but after that, uh, kind of just things were as is. I had a diagnosis. I had medication that works for me. Once in a while, I still have to switch it up. Uh, but the end of it is I'm a functioning human being. I'm not a zombie <laughs> like someone like to think. And I do have my good days. And I do have a lot of bad days. I don't want anyone to take the good days away from me. I am now currently on disability because of my mental illness. And yeah, it sucks. Like, I wish it could be normal, but I just can't function properly in certain environments. And I just have to know what's good for me. And what's good for me right now is surrounding myself by family and friends and people that understand what I'm going through. 
So, I hope you get something out of this. If you have any questions, ask them below. I'm not afraid to answer anything, mostly. Unless it's offensive, then I'll block you. <laughs> but I <clears throat> really do encourage you to check out Katie Morton and uh, Rachel Whitehurst. If you know any other mental health uh, bloggers or YouTubers, please leave them in the comments so I can check them out. Uh, and I hope this was informative. Good night.